Good morning, guys. Um, yeah, it's still morning. <laughs> Sean is out driving. He has gotten into a habit of going early in the morning and working during the day, and he likes it a lot better than driving at night late um, and getting so tired. So we're just in here. We ate breakfast. He was watching his show. Now he's just playing. Um, he was watching his show and eating breakfast while I was cutting up um, vegetables for meals. So in here, I have half in here and half in here except for the onion. So I cut up cabbage, bell pepper, um, celery, and this onion. And then I've got like um, tomatoes and carrots and green beans and all the other stuff to go in it to make a vegetable soup today. This is my leftovers, so I'll have some more. If I like it, I'll have some more um, that I can cook one time this week for an extra meal or, you know, something like that. We eat our big meal and I apologize for how I look. This is me. Hey, Bubba. Hold on. And so, um, my eyes are broke out again because I use those dang, okay, okay, I'll get up. Let me get up. I used those dang makeup removers last night to see if that's what was causing my eyes to, come on, let's go play. If that was what was causing my eyes to, um, do this, whelp up and, and be irritated. Honey, you're okay. Come on, let's play. And, uh, let me open the window. Somebody's but um, he was so cute this morning. I'm not trying to make this long. He was so cute this morning because I was sitting there cutting his ve my vegetables up. And he would use, um, he had a, uh, a emery board. And he would take like my vegetables that I hadn't cut yet. And he would try to cut them. Which he's done before when we have um, went to the library to the play kitchen. Sorry, I look awful. My lips are so dry. Um, but I'm getting ready to fix this. So, um, yeah, he was in there cutting his vegetables up. It was so cute. So I think I don't feel great this morning. I don't have a lot of energy, but I think I'm going to just bite the bullet and take him to the library that has the big play kitchen because he loves it. So I thought I'd take you guys along with us today. Um, I'm trying to vlog a little bit more. I'm trying to involve you guys in our lives, those that you want to be. <laughs> so, um, that's what we're doing. I got to, uh, get all this fixed. Um, the best I can so that I don't scare people because this is going to scare people. So, um, let's see if we can, um, help the situation out a little bit. Okay. Okay. What do you think? <laughs> I've got a little bit of a, a bun, a messy bun, side bun, and I got a little bit of color on the face. Um, you can still tell my eyes are like really irritated, but it's better than it was. <laughs> now let's go get dressed and get him dressed. All right. So we're getting there. <laughs> We are dressed, and uh, I think one of the hardest things about going anywhere is just getting ready and at least being presentable. Um, so now I gotta get him dressed, and uh, we'll be just about ready to go. We are loaded and ready to go. Dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider climbed up the spout again. You want to do it again? Ah! Yeah. 
Wow, what is this? I see cars and trucks. Looks like trucks mostly. Yeah. Trucks. again because he was screaming when I didn't get his way and I just and he was chewing on all the food and I couldn't keep it out of his mouth and if I said don't put it in your mouth he had a fit and so I just put his passing in I just figured it was easier just to deal with it right now I'll take it out when we leave here and go get some french fries but um yeah it's just really hard because I feel like I can't hardly take him around other kids because he doesn't work with kids well so, and I think instead of not taking him around kids, be careful, I need to do it more because I need to expose him more. Uh-uh, uh-uh, sit in the chair, in the chair. Sit down. No, no. No, don't tell mama no. So, we need to do this a couple times a week at least. Um, yeah, are you gonna stay on the table? We start speech therapy in a couple weeks, so hopefully that'll give me some tips and tools to, to help me with that, so. But it's just really hard. Because then you feel like your kid's the bad kid. And I know that's not true. But, like, you feel like your kid's the bad kid that's fussing. And he's not a bad kid. He's a good kid. <laughs> Even though he's sitting on the table right now. <laughs> what are you doing? Do uh, you like that book? We're going to get these three books. And we're going to go look for a couple DVDs for the car. Some new DVDs to watch. Yeah. He likes this Itsy Bitsy yeah. Spider because we've always seen that book to him. And this one I'm excited about because it's about sharing. So hopefully we'll kind of get it. All right, should we go pick out a couple of DVDs? L. Yeah? A couple of DVDs for the car? L. Let's check our stuff out. So you just want to scan the card. Um, and it... Uh, there you go. So the red line goes over the barcode and then sometimes just wiggle it around a little bit Of course it never works Okay, and then you can just slide everything onto the um, Oh, on, onto okay. the middle. Is there here. any like certain way to? No. Oh, okay. You can even keep them stacked. Really? You can the whole thing over. Uh-huh. Okay. So once they turn up green, oh, wow. they're all out, and I would just make sure that you have like five items and yeah. five, five yeah. items checked out. So awesome. then you just say done, and then you pick what kind of receipt you want. All right. And that's it. Yay. Yay. We checked out. You checked out your first oh. book ever. It's very exciting. Yeah. Yeah. You ready to go? All yeah. right. So go check time. it out. Thank you, you so much. Time. All right. So we're back in the car. I asked him. It's so cute because he picked these two. And um, yeah. hold on. And I said, which one? And he looked at both of them, and he pointed to this one, and he said, that one. I could have sworn he said that one. Look, I'm putting the new one in. Cars 3. Yeah, this one has Cruz Ramirez in it. You ready? He's a little tired and cranky, too. Um, maybe a little bit more cranky than normal, um, because I really had a difficult time with him in the library. Um, and if he didn't get in his way, he would just scream, which is kind of a new thing. But it can be really difficult. Here, you push it, enter. It can be really difficult. And I think the tendency, I don't want to make this video too long, but I think the tendency for me is just to avoid public interaction because of his difficulty with it. When in reality, I think I just got to do it more. Like instead of, um, instead of, regressing and pulling back engage him more in social activities like this it does put a little bit of pressure on me as a mom um sorry because i feel i feel a little judged i, I don't know that that people are judging me but i feel judged um if that makes sense Nobody did anything. Although the first time when he screamed in the little kitchen play area, he screamed bloody murder, like one big scream. And then like everybody was looking at me, like all the parents, all the kids stopped. And I was like, what, your kid never screams when they don't get their way? 
And so, and I hate the feeling of feeling like, oh, he's being bad when I know he's not a bad kid. I just know that he doesn't do well socially. He does. He's socially, he'll go up to kids, he'll go up to adults, he loves people. He's not shy at all, but he's socially awkward and he doesn't understand space and, and, and some of that, sh you know, he doesn't share. He takes stuff from other kids. And I think some of that is just his age. He's two and a half. Um, so I didn't mean to make this video any longer, but that's just kind of where I'm at. I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, hold on. Yeah, that's where we're at. And I, I mean, I'm going to say that it would be less stressful if there wasn't like kids and stuff here. Um, definitely would be less stressful if he could just play on his own. But maybe not the most healthy alternative for him and the most the best one for um, development and I'm having trouble getting this okay let's can we go back so that pretty much concludes our video for today I just kind of wanted to take you guys along for his very first library trip like official library trip we came this summer but um, he just came and played and that was it we came for that for the reading thing but um, this is you know we got a library card today and we checked out some books and so this is really his first um, real library visit. So I just kind of want to take you guys along. Um, it's not really a vlog all day video, but I just kind of want to take you guys along for this experience. So anyway, we'll see you guys in our next video. Make sure you give me a big thumbs up if you, um, if you like this video and you've got toddlers that, uh, you've had to deal with some of this stuff, um, or you know what I'm talking about. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you, um, subscribe and click the bell for notifications when we, um, when we make videos like this, you'll be the first to know. And so anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Bye.